High on the hills above the Aegean Sea, a west wind blows steadily 10 months of the year. It turns these giant turbines and sends power through this substation to Turkey's national electricity grid. The 12 windmills here produce energy for a quarter of a million households a year. Looking at a wind map, I see three sides of Turkey are surrounded by seas. So this means a steady wind stream for the country's energy. Wind power provides about 2% of Turkey's energy. But thanks to government and international incentives and subsidies for sustainable power, it is expanding quickly. Turkey produces relatively few fossil fuels. It relies heavily on imported natural gas. But it is rich in wind, water and sun, all renewable, non-greenhouse gas producing sources of power. We're sure there is a growing market for wind power. Here there are plans for 15 more wind parks, so the numbers will increase even as you move away from the coasts and to the heart of the country. These 85-meter, 350-ton turbines cost about 1.3 million U.S. dollars each. But with support from the World Bank and the Clean Technology Fund, Turkey is building its sustainable energy production and energy efficiency. The CTF has pledged $271 million in U.S. dollars to push Turkey's market towards advanced renewables and energy savings. Without favorable loans and that push from the CTF, many Turkish business people say they could not afford to invest in sustainable, efficient power. If we didn't have the chance to find this loan, I would be doing this maybe not this year, maybe 10 years later, when I have enough funds. Today, I found this fund and then I did this job properly. Otherwise, I couldn't have done it. Today, about 60% of Turkey's power comes from fossil fuels and 60% of the country's production relies on imported energy. That must change, Turkish officials say. The answer to Turkey's growing energy and power needs lies not only in increasing the capacity, but also in more efficient use of energy. There is substantial room for energy efficiency investments. CTF's support for such investment, the Turkish government says, has laid a firm foundation for sustainable energy across the country. I believe that we have uh, achieving the uh, transformational change in Turkey and um, awareness uh, has increased tremendously since we started the first CTF project. Uh, so if we cannot get uh, more money from CTF, of course the market will not collapse. These are Dora 1 and Dora 2, named after their owner's 12-year-old granddaughter. Doras 1 and 2 generate enough energy for 20,000 households every day. Dora's power comes from the earth, from boiling hot water buried a kilometer and a half underground, which creates high-pressure gas to power turbines. Geothermal provides 0.3 percent of Turkey's energy. Muramum Balat owns the Doras and is building Dora 3 for about 77 million U.S. dollars. Geothermal is a very important resource that Turkish businesses are investing in. It is important because geothermal will help Turkey be less reliant on foreign energy. The Doras are the first such plants in Turkey, but experts say the country has the potential to be the world's biggest producer of geothermal energy. Already, the two operating Doras save over 70,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions a year. The importance of renewable energy in Turkey's national energy policy can't be overstated. We get most of our energy from foreign markets. Renewable means a lot for Turkey in terms of energy supply security. The Doras and the electricity they produce have already changed lives. This greenhouse is heated by power from the plant two kilometers away. 30% of the cost of a typical greenhouse is heat. These tomatoes are, in essence, simply a byproduct. But for the 40 or so local women who work here, they are status, spending money, and freedom. I'm very happy that the greenhouse opened. I started working here and I'm extremely happy. My life has changed a hundred percent. I can buy what I want and when I want it, I run to work. There's a beauty in earning your own money and if you like, spending it on your kids.
The Sakarya River looms large in the Turkish national psyche. It is the site of a key battle for independence 90 years ago. Now it is an important power source, argues this dam's owner. Turkey is too dependent on external energy sources. Knowing that the water was already here, doing nothing, empty water, as we say in Turkish. We could see that our government and the Turkish people would benefit. Water power already provides for about 23 percent of the country's energy needs. This dam has been producing power for a year, about enough for 20,000 households a day. The water flows in, moves through the turbines, and is released back into the river. The river's carp and catfish have a ladder to bypass the dam. Dams are less harmful than coal and other energy sources. Small is the key. I see a big future in supporting small hydro projects like this one. In this small country coffee shop just down the road from the dam, the TV draws customers and electricity puts hot water in the tea. Electricity is everything. It's technology. Without it, life stops. You can't run the washing, wash the TV, you can't clean, you are nothing. Rising incomes and living standards means the demand for energy and electricity in Turkey is growing at about 6 to 7 percent a year and has been for the last 20 years. Predictions are that future demand will continue at those levels. The bottom line is for Turkey to produce more goods with less energy, so it can become a global player. Turkey's ambition is to become a leading global economy, and so energy use has to be a priority. To cut demand, Turkey has pushed hard on energy efficiency in the last five years, using a massive public awareness campaign, incentives to Turkish companies to use less power, and regulations to enforce efficiency. And that push is beginning to work. When Fatosh Ojak and her family bought a new refrigerator, they spent a little more for one with an a energy rating. This is the fridge we bought last year and it is energy efficient and it is paying us back on our lower energy bills. At the Archilik store in Ankara, customers search out cleaner fridges and dishwashers. 80 to 95 percent of the white goods for sale in Turkey are energy saving. The first thing they pay attention to is, is it energy efficient? They ask about the rating, A+, A++. Turks have replaced 6.5 million lights with energy-saving bulbs, some of them after a campaign to get school kids to reduce electricity use and nag their parents into doing the same. There has been a rise in the number of bulbs I sell that are longer lasting. I would say 80-90% of my bulb sales are energy efficient. In Heraki, outside Istanbul, the new cement plant puts a similar emphasis on efficiency. This plant is the single biggest producer of cement in Europe, making 5.6 tons of it a year. Plant managers here use household sludge or waste from nearby cities and towns as part of their fuel supply. These giant recovery systems capture excess heat so it can be reused elsewhere. The plant's managers say the use of sludge and energy recapture means they use about 5 percent less coal a year, about 30,000 tons less. And the whole process starts with the sludge, which no one wants. We try to be an environmentally friendly company. That is the main project, actually. Otherwise, they used to be uh, discharged to the sea or to the ground, and that was a waste, but now it's we dry it, we burn it, we destroy it, the material. The energy efficiency components of this plant were built with the help of a 22 million U.S. dollar loan and with support from the CTF. Without that assistance, this clean technology would not be in place here. By 2030, Turkish energy experts say, the country will need an additional 130 billion U.S. dollars worth of energy investments to simply keep up with demand.
But in the last 10 years, renewable power and improved efficiency have saved the economy the equivalent of 25 million tons of oil. And sustainable energy is already 25 percent of the Turkish energy market. The goals are ambitious. By 2023, the 100th anniversary of the Republic, Turkey plans to be 20 percent more energy efficient and make renewables satisfy 30 percent of its energy needs.